With the recent online feud between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez, a feud that is fueled almost primarily by the fans, those same fans have come to the consensus that Hailey was obsessed with and stalked her future husband, Justin Bieber. I'm Adam Andrews, someone with no stake in this feud, and today on Inform Overload, we are going to take a look at 10 times Hailey Bieber was apparently caught stalking her future husband. Coming in at number 10, 2009. Why not start at the beginning? In the moment recorded for everyone to see, way back in 2009, a young 12 year old Haley Baldwin meets Justin Bieber for the first time as a fan. This was backstage during his appearance on the Today Show. In uncovered footage from that day, you can watch the whole awkward interaction as her famous dad, actor Stephen Baldwin, introduces himself to the young superstar before turning their attention to Haley, who awkwardly and shyly says hello. And they shake hands, with Bieber doing his little hair flip thing when he sees Haley, which makes me think he liked her. We found out later that Haley is indeed a fan of Justin, so whether it was her dad that forced her to go, or if she really wanted to meet Justin and her dad set it up, we can only really speculate. But her dad definitely played a hand in this one. We will wrap back around to this one too, so stick with me here. Coming in at number 9 is 2011. In 2011, Haley just happened to run into Justin yet again at the premiere of his Never Say Never movie. Now why would the daughter of a Baldwin ever find herself chaperoned by said celebrity, aka her father, to a premiere of a movie centered around someone who she had previously actually met? I'll tell you why. It's not because that's just what you do when you live that lifestyle. It's because she stalked him. Totally. 100%. Couldn't be any other reason. Haley attended the New York City premiere of Justin's documentary Never Say Never. You can see her in the background with her dad during an interview being done with Justin. Coincidence? I doubt it. Doesn't seem to have been a big deal though as later that month Justin confirmed his relationship with Selena Gomez. Number 8. 2011 Tweets. Haley officially declared herself a member of the Jelena fan club. That's their... Uh, Jelena is Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's name, if you didn't know. The model took to Twitter, sharing her support for the couple when she tweeted, quote, I'm for sure 100% team hashtag Jelena. But this wasn't the only supportive tweet. If it was, we might be able to just ignore it completely. In fact, we can still do that since she was a 15 year old girl at the time. But Haley also tweeted from the since deleted Twitter account, quote, happy birthday pretty, tagging Selena for her birthday, then tweeting three months later, Selena Gomez is so cute, don't argue, bye which was followed the next month with I don't care what anyone says but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream hashtag word. A fan for sure and if you're a fan you must be a stalker. That's how that relationship works. Don't you know that? Number 7 2012 tweets. Oh you thought we were done with the tweets. Think again my friends. The next year there were even more of them and if you've noticed that these tweets seem to be pretty Selena Gomez focused you may be right. At this time Selena and Justin had a officially started their long running on again off again relationship with one another and Haley being a human being and a teenager was either incredibly supportive or secretly jealous. Neither of those things are big problems though especially at the age of 15. Her tweets in 2012 kicked off in January responding to someone else's tweet saying seriously though she is beyond flawless and he's you know he's Bieber. They are the perfect relationship. Ending that tweet with a straight face and adding forever alone. So sad. Later that same month she posted Selena Gomez is so friggin good looking. And then one month later she tweeted, I gotta say I was really looking forward to seeing what color coordination Jelena was gonna do for this year's VF party. Hashtag sigh, hashtag oh well. In May she also tweeted, Selena Gomez looks hot in her new music video. Mm, I don't know if this is showing she's obsessed with Justin or more obsessed with Selena, but maybe both. Now at number 6, it's followed him to church. Moving forward, pretty much every other instance of Haley stalking Bieber could very easily be explained by the fact that the two literally really became friends and even something more really starting in 2014. This year Justin and Haley were photographed at a church in Hillsong alongside Kendall Jenner. Justin and Haley are standing right beside each other which gives me the sneaking suspicion that maybe they were friends but that's just what my brain tells me but I'm sure there is someone who could spin this to be Haley stalking and forcing her way into Bieber's life. That must be the real answer here. Number 5 Rumors Not too long after being spotted at the church together, rumors began to circulate that these celebrities were beginning to see each other in a more serious light. These rumors were addressed by Haley herself, who denied any romantic connection between her and Justin. During an interview with E! News, Haley said, quote, I've known Justin since I was like 13. We have just stayed close and there's nothing more to it than that. And Justin backed up Haley's statement in an Instagram post. The singer shared a selfie of himself and Haley in the back of a car with the caption saying, quote, People are crazy. I'm super single and this is my good friend you would know otherwise. 
But what I'm seeing here is that she found a way into the back of his car. That means stalking. Number four, vacation. A year later from that incident, in December 2015, Haley seems to have followed Justin and his family on vacation in Anguilla. She followed them so closely, in fact, that some could even say that she was actually with them. And that's because she was. In an Instagram post made by Justin, Haley is leaning against her friend when he gave her a wet willy when she thought they were just taking a picture. And her reaction is not what you'd expect from a friend. Very affectionate looking, I'm just saying. Needless to say, this fueled rumors that their friendship was actually something more. And given the fact that Selena and Justin were in one of their many off moments at this time, it's likely true. In fact, it was true, as the next month in January of 2016, Justin posted a picture to his Instagram of him and Haley kissing. Instagram official. And in at number three, casual. Now this isn't really proof of stalking, but it does show that Haley was okay with putting Justin's priorities over her own. Clearly a red flag. Or is it just them trying to balance a relationship and him being an absolutely massive megastar? I'll let you guys decide. What I'm talking about here is when Haley and Justin revealed that the relationship was official, but just casual. Haley told E, quote, we are not an exclusive couple. He's about to go on tour. Relationships at this age are already complicated, but I don't really like to talk about it because it's between me and him. Recognizing his busy life and also trying to keep things somewhat private. Seems pretty mature to me, but at that same time, Justin gave an interview to GQ where, when discussing the relationship, he said, quote, I don't want to feel like the girl I love is an added responsibility. I know that in the past, I've heard people and said things that I didn't mean to make them happy in the moment. So now I'm just more so looking at the future, making sure I'm not damaging them. What if Haley ends up being the girl I'm gonna marry, right? If I rush into anything, if I damage her, then it's always going to be damaged. He kind of called that one. I don't know. But it didn't stop them breaking up and Justin unfollowing Haley when he started a pretty brief relationship with Sophia Ritchie before briefly restriking the Selena match. In at number two is reaching out. While still in his rekindled relationship with Selena Gomez, Justin contacted Haley, apparently trying to clear the air over their brief relationship and the bad breakup. This came from sources who were connected to Haley and Justin's church. So no, this point isn't stalking, but the reconnect apparently did not sit well with Selena once Justin and told her. Haley's former favorite couple, Jelena, ended up allegedly going to couples therapy because of the whole thing. So it isn't entirely wrong to say that Haley kind of caused the split of Bieber and Gomez as the two only lasted a couple more months until early March when they took a break, which finally officially became a breakup. But it was Justin reaching out that was the real problem here. Haley was even allegedly dating Shawn Mendes at this time, although that was apparently just a friendship according to Haley. Probably so everyone knew she was free for Bieber. I mean, that up, don't quote me. And finally, in at number one, an arranged marriage. And then they reconnected at a church in Miami and very quickly got married. The ultimate stalking move. Now they are legally and religiously attached to each other. He will never get away. And they've remained married since 2019. And get this, they live together. She won. She's the ultimate stalker. There you go. She achieved ultimate stalking status by just moving in with the guy. Do you see my sarcasm? Because you should. But on another note, recently on The Ellen Show, while talking with Demi Lovato, Justin spoke about when when he and Haley first met back in 2009, saying how he's pretty sure she didn't want to even be there and that, as we said before, her dad seems to be the one that set this up. According to Justin, Haley's dad, Stephen, had dragged her out of bed in the morning and since both Haley and Justin were both raised Christian, their parents thought they should meet each other, which is when Justin made the revelation that it was totally an arranged marriage. This caused a whole whack load of sources on the internet to say that Justin regretted Haley and that the whole thing really was an arranged marriage. Now it's truly shocking shocking, but hold on. Prepare to be even more shocked because, get this, it seems like he's totally making a joke. I don't know. I know it's hard to believe that someone could joke like this, but it turns out that Justin, who is a celebrity and speaks publicly all the time, might actually really love Haley and made a sort of sweet joke about the first time they met. I'm just saying. But there you go. Was Haley stalking Justin? Probably not. But we are all entitled to our opinions, and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. In the meantime, I've been Adam Andrews, this is Inform Overload, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out. Peace out. Damn. Sweet. Not that sweet. No, it's recording, so there definitely is. There we go. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Sorry. You got it, you got it. Okay. That's oh, okay. I was, was kind of just sitting in that awkward silence. It was fantastic. Number four, vacation.